Uh, so my second painting that I've finished uh, in the last month or so is a still life of pomegranates that you should be able to see somewhere here. It's part of a group of paintings that I've been working on. Uh, the first one I finished up uh, and have a video of that uh, for called Vanitas 2. It was obviously a re-envisioning of a painting I had done previously about a year ago. And that one is, both of these are currently at Gallery Victor. So definitely hit them up if you want to know pricing and all that kind of stuff. But uh, like I had said in the last video, I had basically started off with a couple of different objects and set up a couple of different still lifes, took images, and it's been really interesting to see how new ideas and new themes kind of evolve out of these objects. You know, even though I'm using the same objects, even though I'm, you know, sometimes using some of the same lighting techniques and stuff, it's fun to see how they take on new uh, new themes. So with this painting, in this painting, I was kind of uh, inspired to kind of explore something that was kind of opposite of a skull. Through a lot of our history and through a lot of cultures, pomegranates are seen as kind of a symbol for life and fertility. So having a painting of a skull and having paintings of pomegranates I thought was were a nice foil to each other. So in this one, I took a little more photographic approach, which is something I hadn't really messed around with too much in previous paintings. I obviously use photo reference. Um, I obviously work in a photorealist sort of way, but this was the first time that I've actually kind of embraced that photographic quality. Utilizing depth of field and the way that the, the lens breaks up color in, uh, in bokeh in the backgrounds uh, was something that I kind of explored a little bit more with this painting. The style of depth of field is very much akin to what you see using a large format camera. So that was that was very much the inspiration there. Of I've been I've been really into tin type photography lately. Hopefully I'll be able to start doing some of my own soon. But that was kind of where I was going with this. I wanted to create that aesthetic of uh, a large format image and the the way that the way that that depth of field really creates a, a, a really um, deep space in the image. Like I had mentioned in the, last paint, in the last video too, I like to find something that's literature based to talk uh, to, to kind of think about while I'm, while I'm painting. So whereas in Vanitas 2, I found an Anne Bronte poem that coincided really nicely with that that painting for me that there was aspects of the painting that related to to certain stanzas in the the poem that I thought were really interesting and are inspiring new images in the same sort of way I wanted to see where pomegranates show up in literature so I ended up finding a interesting little like short story kind of thing from uh, Khalil Gibran uh, just called the pomegranate. In the short story, it's it's very much a a it's very much a philosophical approach of like in our own head dealing with all of the the voices and negativity and all of the 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 clutter of noise in that can happen in our own heads and. For me though, like something that I've struggled a lot with is, um, is external noise and external um, distraction and the way that it has weighed emotionally um, on me and on, on 
my work and how I, and I'm ultimately my productivity. Um, in the last year, I've I've struggled with certain relationships that have that have not been supportive, that have been cruel. Um, and I, and that's something that I think that we all kind of face a little bit as artists, that there are going to be people that, um, don't see the importance that don't have the passion that we have that don't appreciate the time and the energy that we put into our work. And that's something that I've struggled with. And it's, and it's something that, that, really, that really ate at me for a long time and still does, honestly. It's, it's something that I struggle with to know that these people are not on my side, that they should be encouraging me. And... Um, and they just don't. And it hurts. And and that's kind of that's where I related to this story of um that there's that it's all of these seeds in the pomegranate talking to each other. And at one point one of one of the seeds is talking about how we're all going to grow up into trees and we're all going to be beautiful and it's going to be amazing. And then older seeds try to squash that. And other seeds are all saying like, well, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what the future is like. And then finally, just like the author is just like, you know what? I'm out and he goes off on his own and it says that I moved that very day into the heart of a Keens where the seeds are few and almost silent and that's kind of where I feel like I'm at right now I'm drawn away to where the seeds are few and almost silent I'm drawn away to a place where I'm not going to be bombarded by noise that is not helping and not getting anybody anywhere. And, and that's, that's what I was thinking about. It was, um, it was, it, it was a kind of self portrait in a way that it was, uh, to me about the complexity of these beautiful fruit that is kind of hidden away in the the inner the inner turmoil that that happens within it and the way that the image is focusing in on these in in such a defined way while everything else around it is kind of obscured and blurred and um that's what I was thinking about when I made it and uh and hopefully hopefully uh hopefully you guys like it be on the lookout there's gonna be another one of these videos coming out soon uh, i'm working on another painting right now uh it's about halfway done hopefully that one will will be coming along soon so uh keep an eye out for another video if you are interested in either of these paintings that i've completed so far both are at gallery victor um, make sure to email them or call them up and they can get you an appointment to come in uh, or they can, uh, you know, send you information uh, by email, phone call, all that good stuff. So uh, remember to support your local artists. Remember to keep buying artwork and helping us all get along through this. Uh, until next time. See ya.